Hello and welcome to Camp Xbox. Today we're diving into yet another official Xbox Magazine demo disc. If you've been following my previous videos in this series, welcome back, and if you're new to this series, in this video we've got an exciting lineup of trailers, features, and demos for you to enjoy. In this episode we're exploring demo disc number 5 from official Xbox Magazine issue number 5, which was released in April 2002. And I have to say, this cover of official Xbox Magazine is one of my favorites. And if you're interested, I'm thinking about creating videos for each issue and breaking down the content. Let me know if that's something you'd be into in the comments below. Really quickly, I want to thank my YouTube channel members before we get into this. But for now, let's delve into the extra content section first and take a closer look at the trailers. First up on our list is a trailer for Gun Valkyrie, which hit the shelves about a month prior. This is a somewhat odd Sega Xbox exclusive that often flies under the radar due to its difficulty. The control scheme is a bit unconventional, but it's these quirks, along with the game's unique aesthetics, that make it a really charming Xbox exclusive. This trailer is a lot of fun and showcases the fantastic cyberpunk aesthetic and shows off the different styles of gameplay. Next in line is a trailer for NBA Inside Drive 2002, released in North America January of 2002. I haven't had the chance to dive into this Xbox exclusive basketball game, but this trailer serves as a reminder that I really should give it a try. Shake, rattle, and roll as I battle for gold. It's for the love of the game, even though I'm wearing cornrows. The two-man game, the pick and roll to the hole. My three-man jumps, the dimes waiting out the rim shake. I wreak havoc on a lazy defender. Remember, return the sender. If you're finna, try to come up top with them oh, weak things. Right. I show off hops and I swap things to 18. Keep it cracking while I'm showing my tax. I build up stacks behind the back wraps through hand packs. The package is full, as strong as a bull. I put it down for cheesy if the dime comes speedy. You see me? My whole click is in the front row, tripping off the dunk show. Left they all know I play above the rim. So take them to the hole and show them who I am with the, the jackhammer slam. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 
The ball's jab free. His partner jumps through the cup. Here's the replay. Man, I'm unstoppable. Moving on, we have a trailer for one of my personal favorites among Xbox exclusives, and that's Rally Sport Challenge. Released in March of 2002, this rally racing game is very special to me, and the trailer excels in showcasing the stunning environments and vehicles, especially considering the time of its release. If I were a rally fan back in the day, this trailer would have convinced me to pick up this game. The final segment here is a collection of Microsoft Xbox commercials. It's a repeat from the last disc, which I love this segment, so if you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend watching it. But for everyone else, it's exactly the same with no changes. When it seems like all is lost, when it feels as if you have no hope, when you are outnumbered, overpowered, and they've got you cornered, that's when you realize your last best hope is you. Halo, Combat Evolved, rated M for Mature. Well, I, I, I only play it for the fighting. I, I appreciate the expansive multi-tier environments and the 16 characters with the, the pixel shading bump mapping <laughs> and the rich plot development. Seriously, why else would I play it? She kicks eye. Rated T for team. Every second, a thousand decisions. Do you go for style? Or do you go for speed? That's your decision, love. Do you bet it all, or better not? Again, your call, mate. Power slide, or play it safe? Champ or chump, tough guy. It all depends. What's driving you? Project Gotham Racing, rated E for everyone. Up. Yeah, up. Hot world. Much as 
Dag, yo, it's the Amped Guide to Freestyle Snowboarding. Know your mountain. Downhill area, freestyle areas. Let's ride! This is about freedom and cool tricks and doing those cool tricks when the media's around. Just bend, jump, grab, rotate, and land. Then contact an orthopedic surgeon and you're ready to go. Amped style isn't everything. Just kidding. Rated E for everyone. Hi, honey. Oh, you know, we had a huddle. Manning says they're throwing a Harrison. Every time. Peyton to Marvin. Peyton to Marvin. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Ray Lewis is on my back all day. Yeah. Coach keeps yelling at me, quoting Lombardi every two minutes. It's all politics around here. I gotta go. NFL Fever 2002. It's a living. Raider D for everyone. Moving into the features section, the first video is for Malice, which at the time of this gameplay had the subtitle Cat's Tale. This video provides a comprehensive look at some early gameplay. Malice is notable for its terrible development history, initially intended for PlayStation, later becoming an Xbox exclusive, changing publishers, which resulted in a PS2 version as well, much later in 2004. The development journey is quite a mess, and it's fascinating to witness an early glimpse from 2001 of this game. The gameplay at this stage appears noticeably unfinished compared to the final product, which makes it an enjoyable and intriguing watch. With each new issue, we get another round of Plays of the Month. In this one, there's nothing too wild to note, except for a lot of skiing and Animusha. I like these segments because it's a little peek into what was popular at the time of release.
final feature here is really interesting. It features Chuck Liddell visiting the OXM offices. For those unfamiliar, Chuck Liddell is a UFC heavyweight champion and was one of the most popular fighters for the UFC at the time. His visit was in promotion for the Xbox-exclusive UFC Tap Out game, recently released in 2002. While there's no dialogue in this section, the feature does have a fight at the end that I think is well worth watching. Kicking off the demo section is Amped Freestyle Snowboarding. This demo holds a special place in my heart as it's the reason I bought the game back in the day. Amped released close to launch and I think this demo was included as a nice strategy for boosting later sales. The snowboarding showcased in this demo is incredibly smooth and heaps of fun. While the demo only features one slope, it presents lots of challenges on it. So despite its size, the demo encapsulates everything the game has to offer. The physics and feel are great, and it makes for an excellent introduction to this game. Going for it. Nice. Hey! Yeah, you killed it. Holy smokes, that was sick! Dude, over here. Maybe your board's a little too small. Hey, come here! Yeah! Yeah, that was it. Ready! Following that is a demo for Dave Mira BMX2. Although I haven't played this one, I've always been interested because I love the Tony Hawk series. And this exudes a similar vibe, just with a bike. In this demo, you're given one area with no specific goals and you're free just to mess around with the controls. It's a smooth experience and while I had a rough time learning initially, don't judge my gameplay too hard, but with time, you really get a handle on it. While this demo might not fully showcase the game's structure, it has certainly sparked my interest in covering it.
Included in the demos is one for Dead or Alive 3, an Xbox exclusive classic. As a launch title, this demo served as further promotion of the game. The stunning graphics and swift fighting system that made this game a classic are on full display here. The demo only features a time attack mode, but the selection of characters is surprisingly large. Rolling through these fights is a lot of fun, and you can really get a good amount of fun just out of this demo. Get ready, fight! <laughs> Wrapping up the demos is one for Reckless, the Yakuza missions, released in February of 2002. In this demo, you get to experience the insane car action of one level. The enemies have three cars, and your goal is simple, just to drive into and smash them all. It's a fun driving game with a unique twist, and this demo thrusts you right into the action. Additionally, the demo excels in showcasing the detailed look of the city and the impressive lighting. With its solid appearance, I'm sure this demo convinced some people to pick up the full game. And that wraps it up for this demo disc. It's a solid collection of demos, with Amped and Dead or Alive being excellent choices to showcase. The insights into Malice and the UFC video, also the Gun Valkyrie trailer, add a nice touch to this one. Going through these demos, it's like opening a perfect time capsule, offering a glimpse back into Xbox history, and thank you for joining me on this historical journey. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like as it helps out the channel. Leave a comment below with any Xbox memories, Subscribe to keep up with the retro Xbox content, and I want to give a huge shout out to my YouTube channel members, campers, and camp counselors. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you here next time at Camp Xbox.